I agree with your brother. But this is for mom's sake. How dare you use mom for your schemes? What are you talking about? I know what you're up to, Jean. And it's not gonna work. What have you been doing with all the money we have given you for mom? What money? There is no money. Sit down, Alfred. No need to create a scene. I've wasted so much time on this. We are not renting out our house to strangers and we are not moving mom out to some rental flat. That's it! Jean, what are you doing? If you need money that badly, you can tell us instead of using mom like this. If anybody's using mom, it's you, dad, Afu. You and your useless brother are safe. Where is Fu? Huh? He can't even turn up to discuss about mom? Maybe because he knows what's going to happen, that you always have to have things your way. I don't understand why we can't discuss anything reasonably and calmly. I know somewhere we can discuss this reasonably and calmly. In family court. You know you don't always have to be so dramatic. There's such a thing called mediation. The sister they call. Say they are on the way here. Ten minutes. Give them ten minutes. The complainant G is already here. But we can't speak to her without the others present. Just have her wait. Okay. Are they here yet? Could be a no-show. Oh. A no-show won't be good for anyone. I'm really hoping that the other parties will come together. It'll be sad to see another family broken up because of money. It's always about money, isn't it? Not always. We Come on, Alfred, let's go! Alfred, come on, let's go! This is a waste of time. I don't see why we need outsiders to settle our family problems. Please, don't create trouble. Trouble? Me? What can these people do that we can't? Shirley, you don't want this thing to go to family court and all that? You know what will happen? They will surely want to talk to mom. She's a troublemaker. Jean is right. Maybe these professional mediators can help us look at our problems objectively. I suppose our kid brother Afu isn't here. He's never been interested in family affairs. Unless he's in some casino. Either Jean is wrong or, or we're wrong. So come on, we're late. Yes? Everyone's here. Yeah, great. Uh, we're ready. Show them in. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, Jean. Please take a seat. Sure. She's Lei Hui and he's Alfred. Hi, Lei Hui. Hi, Alfred. Take a seat, please. Alfred, Lei Hui, thank you for coming. My name is Leslie and she's my colleague, Xin Yi. We are your mediators for today. You are siblings, right? Okay, I take that as a yes. So which means we are not strangers to one another. We are family. We are here to mediate. We are neutral party and we are here to facilitate your discussion with one another. We will not take sides and we do not decide who is right or who is wrong. So, we are not here to tell you that you can or cannot do this, or that you need to do this or that. You must take responsibility of whatever the outcome may be. First, no abusive language. Civility is important here. Alright? Are we in agreement with this? So you're saying, I don't have the right to get angry. Is that it? Huh? I have to continue to just listen to her? No, 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 no. Alfred, that's not what we meant. If everyone is talking, and everyone is shouting, it helps no one. Fine. She talks, I listen. I talk, she listens. Fine. Okay, um, let's start with Jin. Jin, why don't you tell us what the problem is? Jin? I don't know why it's come to this. <laughs> Alfred, please. It's all right. No, it's not all right. 
it's important that each of you have the clear chance to tell your side of the story without getting intimidated by the other party. Alfred, please. Okay. Jane, please continue. Well, my father passed away two years ago. He left the house to my mother, but the house was just too big for mum. So I told my brother and my sister that we needed to rent out the house and move mum to a smaller flat. That way it'll be easier to take care of her. And of course, the extra rental income can also help with her expenses. And... And? And... But... They disagreed. I, that's it, I guess. You staying with your mother? Yes. Okay, can you tell us when and why you decided it's time to move your mother to a smaller flat and rent out the house? Well, it was about a year ago. tend to be a lot more relational in nature. You deal with a lot more of uh, emotions, um, a lot more hurts sometimes, a lot of baggage that could have um, transpired over many years together as a family. Um, so these are the differences. However, it, we all know that in family disputes there are also money issues involved. We consider things like um, a breakdown in trust, a breakdown in relationship. How can we help these two parties to move on, um, having uh, uh, and uh, finding ways to improve on how they manage things in the future, how they manage communication issues, issues of trust, relationship, and not simply just about the money, although it's important. Is this the first time you're hearing this? Not like that. Jean, uh, my sister, she just told us the house was too big for mum. Why didn't you share the same story with them? I don't know. I mum mean, has been frail for some time now and they both know that. But every time when we start discussing about something, we always end up arguing about something else. And besides, you asked me when I thought it was time to rent and I felt it was time and enough was enough. Okay, Alfred, Lei Hui, why is it moving your mother to a smaller flat and renting out the house a problem for you? Simple. We don't trust her. We don't know what she's planning. I'm not planning anything. You're always accusing me of planning something. I'm not planning anything. Please. Four years ago, So, what are your plans for your mother? Uncle Toh, I don't understand. What if your father had died today? I don't need to be nice and polite to you, but fact is fact. Someone has to take care of your mother. She can't stay alone in the big house. I... Never thought of that. Say, no need. Nothing is going to happen to that father. Did you hear your mother? 
she still doesn't realize what a ghost call we had today. You know what's that call? Denial. You are my brother. But they are my family. Jie, you are my family. Your children are my family. Jie, everybody dies. Have you thought about your own husband's feeling? Have you considered him? I, I don't understand. You have to give him some peace. He is not stupid. He probably worries every day what is going to happen to you. And you, children, need to do the right thing and set his heart at ease. That is all about planning. No need. No need. I can look after myself. I will tell him. He don't have to worry about me. Ma. Calm down. Calm down. See what you've done? I'll stay. I'll stay. What? I said I'll stay. I'll move in with Mom. That way, Dad will be okay. He knows that there's somebody to take care of her should anything happen to him. And who says it's going to be you? It's not your decision to make. If not her, you. You or him? Or who? Certainly not. It's Seta. Jean's the best choice. Both of you have your family and home. Your sister, as you know, has problems with her husband. That is why she volunteered to move out of her home. But I don't like the way she maneuvered herself into staying with our parents. Please, Alfred, is this what you think it is? It's G not G what... Please sit down. I don't believe Alfred has finished what he wants to say. Please, Jean. You can say what you need to say later, okay? Alfred, please continue. We were at our mother's house. I don't understand. Hui and I have been contributing to mom's expenses. And you say you need more money. I'm not working. And the upkeep of this big house, it's not cheap, you know. The last contribution was almost $3,000. And there's nothing left. Mom has medication. There are bills to pay. Her last hospital stay has not even been settled. I just don't have money. Besides you and Lei, we are the only two in the family working. Perhaps we can see some sort of accounting. Where's all the money going? I'm not an accountant. The bills come in and I pay them. Both of you think that I'm hiding money in this big house. If you think you do a better job taking care of mom, then go ahead! Here. That's all I have. I want to see some accounts the next time Hui and I give you money. You don't even trust your own sister. I've got to go. Tells me she needs money for mom. What a liar. No money and she can give it away. In most disputes, you will find that people tend to skip the process of trying to discover each other's uh, interests and they immediately go to problem solving. And they will end up meeting, reaching an impasse because my solution does not meet your solution. 
The difference with me, a professional mediator is that um, after going through this whole process of finding out people's interests and motivations, we help parties to brainstorm on a whole possible list of options that could meet your interests. Sometimes it is monetary, sometimes it is not monetary, but it is important for the mediator to get the parties to brainstorm even if some of the options that they come up with could be very ludicrous or not pragmatic. It is the process that matters because the process helps the parties to, to really think, think out of the box, be creative. Both sides will participate. When did this happen? It's not what you think. Then what are we supposed to think? You say you don't have enough money. And the next thing I see is you give my money away to someone else. We have been contributing thousands of dollars and it's still not enough to look after mum. Where is all the money going? Both of you think that just a few thousand dollars is enough. Spend one week in the hospital and it's all gone. Renting the house would be more than enough to cover for mum's expenses. You mean your expenses? Do you know how tiring it is to always ask both of you for money? And to always have to justify it? Well, you seem to have enough to give it away. Jin, wait. Why don't you tell us about what Alfred saw that day? I mean, if you have a good reason to give the money away, you can clear away the mistrust. I... I can't say. Why? Is it some taunting? Or betting? It was a fool. What? How did you know? From Keke it described, I gave it to him. A fool is your youngest brother? Yes. I don't have much. You know, mom is sick and her medical expenses are high. Is that all you can spare? Yes. But aren't Sarah and Alfred contributing to mom? Yes, they are. So don't worry about it. Thanks. Anyway, what happened? It's nothing. Just make some stupid bid on some commodity. Things went bad. And now I've got to pay for something that's completely worthless. Just don't let them know about it. Especially Alfred. I won't tell them, but you have to return me back the money. You know that I only have just enough for mom and the bills, okay? Don't worry. I'll return you the money in a couple of weeks. Just don't let the other two know about this. Or else there'll be fights again. I've enough of all this. Okay. Take care and stay out of trouble. You better go now before somebody sees you. Yeah, okay, I'll go first. Bye. I don't believe it. That useless... Yes. It was our fool that I gave your money to. He's a useless good for nothing, but he's still my our brother. Besides, he already returned me all the money back last week. Honestly, do you know how trying it is to always ask both of you for money? Renting out the house would be the most dignified way for all of us. The house really is too big for mum. Besides, we only use two rooms anyway. Let's just move mum into a smaller flat and rent out the house. Can she do that? I don't know, but at least we're moving somewhere, right? Alfred, do you agree? No. No. Okay, why not? I still think she's manipulating her way. Look at her, it's all so convenient. Small steps. I can see it. I don't understand. Okay, first, she moves in with mom. Then she will move out to a small flat and rent out the house. Well, what's next? She will ask to sell the house and persuade mom to let her keep the money. <laughs> small steps. Isn't that obvious? You are so paranoid, you know. You are. I'm not. Fine. If that's what you think, then I'll move out. Then you can find someone to take care of mom and I'll move out. Alfred. I believe you still care very much about your mother's welfare, right? Of course I care. What do you think I am? You all love your mother, right? So, won't it be good if we can come to a solution that benefits her? What solution? We can't tell you the solution. You have to tell us what would make your problem go away. And what works for you? I 
Then I guess Jenny's right. It's just the money. The money? I thought you were on my side. We have to do something. We can't let mum run around the house. It is easier to take care of her in a small flat. You're right. I just want to move in with mum. I can't. And I'm not even sure whether we can rent out the house so easily. Anyway, all right. Rent it out, get a small flat. But I have one condition. Condition? I'm not contributing any more money if there's income from the rental. And I want to see some form of accounting. Hopefully the rental money will help. I'll top it up if there's any shortfall. I'll try to keep the books. I mean, I don't know how, but how hard can it be, right? I'll try. Alfred? Yep. Let's do this. For mom. Jean, do you agree? Yes. Thank you. In that case, I'll prepare an agreement for all of you to sign. Hey, it's full. He's at Vivo City with Mum. Says he's treating anyone who comes to dinner. Well, I told him to take care of Mum because all of us are here. So I guess we're all going. Let's go.